What is a hero? It is a word that is thrown around to describe people who exhibit extreme bravery, like superheroes, soldiers, and action movie stars. The truth is that a hero demonstrates extraordinary courage, compassion, and even sacrifice without ever seeking credit for his or her actions. A fantastic example of this definition of a hero is John R. Fox. John Fox was born in Cincinnati, Ohio on May 18, 1915. He attended Wilberforce University, participating in ROTC and graduating with a commission as a second lieutenant in the United States Army in 1940. When he got out of college, Fox joined the U.S. Army's 366th Infantry Regiment of the 92nd Infantry Division. This was the U.S. Army's only all-black regiment, and they called themselves the Buffalo Soldiers. When the United States entered World War II, Fox and his fellow soldiers were sent to Europe to help in the fight against fascism. By all accounts, John Fox was a model infantryman and soldier as his division fought throughout Italy. During one particular mission, Fox was part of a small forward observer party that volunteered to stay behind in the Italian village of Somo Colonia in the Sergio River Valley. American forces had been forced to withdraw from the village after it had been overrun by the Nazi army. From his position on the second floor of a house, John Fox directed defensive artillery fire. German soldiers were attacking in strength, greatly outnumbering the handful of American soldiers. Fox radioed the artillery to bring its fire closer to his position. As the attack continued, he ordered the fire directed onto his own position. The soldier who received the message was stunned, as there was very little chance that Fox would survive the impact. Fox simply replied, Fire it. John Fox's sacrifice gained time for the U.S. forces to organize a counterattack and retake the village of Soma Colonia. When the U.S. forces finally drove back the Nazi divisions and won back the village, among the many bodies of German and Austrian soldiers, there was one American body among the carnage. Fox was 29 years old when he called artillery fire on his own position the day after Christmas in 1944, which he was posthumously awarded the Distinguished Service Cross for in 1982. After the war, the citizens of Somo Colonia erected a monument to nine men who were killed during the artillery barrage, eight Italian soldiers and Lieutenant Fox. For his gallant and courageous actions at the supreme sacrifice of his own life, Fox was posthumously awarded the Medal of Honor from President Bill Clinton in a White House ceremony on January 13, 1997. This medal celebrates all that a true hero demonstrates, extraordinary courage, compassion, and sacrifice. And Lieutenant John R. Fox was the epitome of these virtues, making the ultimate sacrifice in the service of others.